Hi. In the past uh, video, you, uh, we have seen that there are slacks. We try to remove the slacks from output if we use Russell's output measure, but there are still slacks in the input. Okay. So what we did in Russell's output oriented measure was we used separate fee for each output, but we did nothing for the inputs. So there were still slacks in the input. Now what we are going to do is we are going to use Perito Koopman's efficiency, which basically removes all the slacks from inputs as well as outputs. So what we are going to have here is we are going to have separate fees for each output. That is for each output, we would have a separate expansion factor as well as separate theta for each input factor. For each inputs, we would have a separate theta. Okay. So let us look at the LP formulation. So the LP formulation, the linearized uh, formulation of Perito Koopman's is to minimize 1 by n theta i's, that is, minimize average of thetas minus average of fees. This average of theta is the contraction factor for inputs. Average of fees is expansion factor for output. So average of theta minus average of phi is our objective function. Subject to, fun subject to constraint, lambda j by rj greater than equal to phi by r0. We will have fees for each output. Lambda j xij less than equal to theta xi0, we would have thetas for each or contraction factor for each inputs. Phi j's or phi r's are greater than equal to 1. Theta i is less than 1. And lambda's, uh, sum of lambda is equal to 1. Sum of weights is equal to 1. And lambda's are non-negative. However, this is not the original objective function. This is the linearized objective function. The original objective function is to minimize average of thetas upon average of fees. This is not linear. So Taylor's theorem is used to linearize it. So the original objective function or the PK measure is called as gamma, which is minimize average of theta upon average of fees. However, this is the linearized approach that we used. Uh, to get away with linear programming, solving linear programming problem in uh, Excel. So let us see how to use. Okay, in the previous example, I am using the same sheet. We had phi1 and phi2 for output 1 and output 2 respectively. Now we have four inputs. So what we are going to have is theta1, theta2, theta3 and theta 4 that is each input will have its respective contraction factor theta let us set the initial values of theta to 0 let us set each values to 0 okay. now i would write right hand side again right hand side would be for output it would be phi multiplied by index command array of output comma unit number one we specify the cell with unit i press f4 now if i drag it for output two it would be phi two multiplied by output for inputs it would be theta multiplied by theta multiplied by inputs of respective form okay now we need average of phi average of phi and average of say average phi average phi is average of fees average theta is equal to average of all the thetas
our objective function for linear programming is to maximize average of phi sorry average of theta minus average of phi okay so let us look at linear programming once we go to solver i delete all the previous we would input it again the objective function is to minimize the value of average theta minus average phi by changing cells lambdas all the phi's and theta select the array of phi's and theta all add constraints now let us add constraints for output it is left hand side of outputs greater than equal to right hand side of outputs add left hand side of inputs less than equal to right hand right hand side of inputs add sum of weights should be equal to 1 add all the fees should be greater than 1 add all the thetas should be less than 1 click on okay simplex lp and solve you would get values of fees and thetas and now you see left hand side values of left hand side and values of right hand side are same that is they are binding it means that it means that there are no slacks in input as well as output because we have used a separate phi for each output and separate theta for each inputs we don't have any slacks left however this objective function was used only to linearize our problem the original pk measure or perito kupmans measure is average of thetas upon average of phi's which is called as perito kupmans measure or pk measure is equal to average of theta divided by average of phi so for form 1 it is 0.39 so like this you can find for form 2 go to solve form 2 go to solver click on solve you will get values for pk measure for form 2 also you can automate it using bba visual basic some application for visual basic you need to go to developer go to insert mode click on active x control and draw a command button now double click on this command button and write the command let us write the command what we want okay let us see what all we want okay just a minute so let us copy this units here okay what all do we want for each unit say we want p1 we want fees and thetas for each unit and say we want pk measure okay so how will we go about it we have 28 units here so for unit is equal to 1 to 28 and specify where the unit is situated so it is situated in j2 range 
j2 is equal to unit we are going to use solver so solver sol user finish true now what we want so in cell u and u2 we want value of phi1 and phi1 is in cell l4 so in u2 we want values of cell l4 let us specify it range u and unit plus 1 we want value of l4 in v2 we want value of m4 range v and unit plus one we want values of m4 in w2 we want n4 in x we want x2 so x and unit plus 1 we want value of o o2 sorry o4 in y and unit plus 1 we want value of p4 in z and unit plus 1 we want values of q4 and pk measure is in pk measure is in j10 which we want in aa2 aa and unit plus 1 we want pk measure so pk measure is in j2 sorry j10 so before going to next step what we will do is we will select um, we will set the values of lambdas to 0 and phi's and theta's to 0 so range all the lambda weights are in i2 to i29 
we set the value to zero before going to next step and range of all the phi's and lambdas which is l4 to q4 so range l4 to q4 value is equal to 0 and then we will go to next unit and before going tools references and see if solver is tick mark or not we need to tick mark it and click on ok minimize this and click on uh, click off the design mode and click on the uh, command button so you would start getting values of fees and similarly you would get value for everything so we have values of pk measure for every firm by writing a simple VBA command. Thank you.